to my channel. I hope that everyone is doing well and that you've been filled with lots of love this week as we approach Valentine's Day. I have another awesome tutorial for you all. I'm going to be showcasing my first wigs once again. That's one of my favorite brands in regards to wigs. I would absolutely recommend this brand to anyone, especially beginners. They never disappoint. So these are the specifications, but we're going to get into those later. This is a company that also provides the natural color wig caps. This is what the unit looks like. It is a popping red color. This is one of those wigs that just screams, hello, I'm here. I have arrived. And what I love about what My First Wigs has done is that they have improved their glueless lace front in that they have now attached the elastic band for you. And it's also detachable. You can adjust it so that it's more fitted on your head or you can loosen it up a bit. It comes with two combs on the side, a comb at the bottom, a pre-plucked hairline. So good for your lazy girls, for your beginners, for everybody who just don't feel like doing all that. This is what it looks like and it looks very natural. I am gonna pluck it a little bit more later, but I'm just gonna put it on my head currently. It does come with a middle part. I kind of position it so it was like a side part, but I want it to have a deep side part on the right hand side. I always wear my parts on the right hand side whenever I'm doing a side part, but I'm just spraying water on it just to make the hair a bit more moldable. And then I'm gonna take it off and I'm gonna put it on my mannequin head, spray more water, and then I'm gonna proceed to move on to the next step. So the next thing that we need to do is flat iron this hair because as you can see, the integrity of the style has kind of been tampered with as a result of the packaging, but no worries. I'm gonna start by spreading some Argan Oil of Morocco penetrating oil all over this hair, and then I'm gonna begin to pull out my titanium flat iron that I got from Amazon. I've been raving about this flat iron for my last two videos because it is phenomenal. It has done the best job period on any of my units and I'm excited to see later on I don't know when I'm actually going to do it it may be for my one year uh post big chop anniversary that I use it on my hair but we'll see so I'm just going to pull the hair back and begin flat earning and you guys are going to be able to see the style come to life once it's flat earned So this next step is optional. I decided that I wanted to tweeze the hairline a little more, but you do not have to do that. These tweezers I found on Amazon along with my flat iron. I'll link them both in the description box. This is the mousse that I'll be applying to the hair, and then I'm just going to proceed to tweeze. There's no mirrors on these walls no the 
process that I just showed you previously the night before and it is the next morning currently and it is time to try on this unit. Everything is laid y'all. It looks so good. So I'm going to begin by adjusting the elastic band and then I'm going to put it on my head but look at how fierce this is looking. This looks really really awesome. This unit is once again a glueless lace cap so it lends itself to not having to apply any glue or gel. However there are some factors that may require that you add some gel or glue in one area and I'll show you that in a moment. So I'm just positioning the unit on my head ensuring that I'm covering every area that I have my ball cap and as you probably can see there's one area near the ear tabs that's kind of sticking out a bit. Although this is a very seamless install and it's laying very flat if you're someone who has a hairline like me you may have to apply some gel in the area that I'm holding currently near the ear tabs but if you are an individual who has more so of a round hairline you should be okay and also if you have your hair just braided under and you didn't decide to use the stocking cap method you should be fine because you can add those or rather insert the combs on the side and that should help to lay it down as well so I'm just gonna apply some got to be glued to that area use my blow dryer on the cool setting and then I'm just gonna press it down it's really quick and easy so you don't have to use got to be glue on the entire hairline but just the side that's exposed and behind your ear and this style is finished killed it y'all and i didn't mention this earlier but her name is brenda this is a malaysian ombre red bob and this is a lace front construction this unit is in length 12 and the bob that they did on this is on point if you can see this hair is so flowy and just bouncy i absolutely love that about it it's not stiff at all the shape is perfection my first wigs did a very very good job with this and it does have the asymmetrical appeal because of how I parted it. But if you do a middle part, then it will look more symmetrical. So now we're gonna kind of get into my outfit of the day and I'm gonna give you all some shoe inspiration. All of the shoes that I'm gonna show you all are from Azalea Wang. These are the Occupied Heel Pump. They are absolutely stunning. They have the black tip and they also have an ankle strap. These next shoes are open pointy toe sexy heel booties. And these are more so of a sock booty type feel. They're extremely comfortable and I love the color. And the last pair are more of a statement piece with the leopard design. They will all be linked in the description box. Now I'm gonna show you all what they look like here with my outfit. that's the end of this video i hope that you all enjoyed it and that you are loving this hair color be sure to check the description box for this unit and also all the specs and details i look forward to your comments and feedback be sure to like comment subscribe i will see you all in my next video bye y'all